Hi, I am Momo Kihara, and today, as a speaker, I would like to explain all you guys why your love letter might survive a millennium. So, I have a question for you guys. So, can you throw out some hands if you have ever written a love letter or a fan letter before? I see some honest hands over here. <laughs> so, I have this experience writing one as well. So, I came up to my desk and I wrote why I liked him. So, I went on to recalling my romantic memory with him. And I concluded with why I even liked his flaws. So I neatly folded and put it in the envelope, and I gave it to him. But then, I have to admit that as much as it hurts my pride, as much as it hurts my social reputation as a teenage girl, I have to admit that I was rejected. Completely. Totally. Not even a single chance. So, I went back home silently, quietly, and I dived into my bed, crying. I had this overloading, complex emotions that I couldn't even deal with. I didn't know why my tears came out. I just didn't understand what my body was even functioning for. So I took my phone out of my bag, and I typed in depressing songs on Spotify. And I met this playlist over here. So I listened to these depressing songs for three hours straight. And well, I met this song called I Need You. It was a song from BTS, the strong boy band with seven people. The one goes, da na 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 We have heard of this phrase before, right? Of course. And in this song, BTS sings about how he was so broken while he loves this girl. And wait, don't worry. I'm not going to talk about BTS 10 minutes straight because I don't stand them. But I would like to introduce to a slight connection with my experience. So in this song called I Need You, BTS sings my life is all done because of you. I don't want you in my life anymore, so please get out. That kind of song. But it seems like being a teenager sucks, even though you're a mega successful K-pop star. And then it goes into the chorus of, I need you, girl. Why do you love me and leave me all by yourself? I need you, girl. Well, when I heard this song, I was like, hey, I know some of the lyrics before. I've never heard of this song before, but I just have this connection between the lyrics. And I was just so confused by the lyrics that I knew but didn't know, I knew but didn't know. And I just kept on going between those. But I finally realized that it was Japanese ancient verses. These verses are just longer version of a haiku. But I have this experience of learning what they mean because I've started my journey of doing Japanese traditional card games about three years ago. And not to brag, but I've actually won some of national championships. So you better trust me with this information. <laughs> and when I first made this connection, I was like, so wait a moment. These traditional games that I've been doing has something with I need you? And in this traditional game, there are two players, and in between them are Japanese ancient verses. And printed on each of them are 100 verses that were selected by a famous genius poet during the 13th century. And 
43 of them are actually love songs, and four of them completely matched up with the I Need You lyrics. So when I first actually realized this connection, I was like, wait, they were of course created in different eras, of course in different countries, and even different cultures. And why do they have the same wording in them? I even thought this gentleman right here, that would be a thousand year old if he was still alive. And these guys over here singing the same thing. So to prove your suspicious thoughts are wrong, I will bring up some examples for you. In this song, the poet sings about how he wouldn't care even though he would be hurt by greeting her. But in the BTS version, BTS sings that he wouldn't really mind being like broken so much if he could just meet her. And here's another example. In this waka, the poet sings about how he is so hurt and he wouldn't be bitter. He wouldn't feel any bitter if he couldn't even meet her, meet his love. But he doesn't really have the courage to actually say to her that he doesn't want to meet her anymore. And in the BTS version, they sing about how he doesn't have the courage to actually break up with this girl that he's in love with. The third example. In this waka, the poet makes an analogy between the waves crashing into the rock with the upsetting feeling of the man. And the cold rock is representing the cold, salty attitude the woman that he's in love with is showing to him. And in the BTS version, they sing about how he, his heart, is crashed into pieces because this attitude that the girl is showing. So I've made this connection and I was so surprised. And now I've proven how these are connected. Of course, we shaped our society here to here and totally looks different, right? We can conclude that we've been changing our society, improving more and more to achieve a better life. And we obviously did. We live in a society of inventions. And while we changed our outer appearance of the society, we can conclude from these examples that the heart of us hasn't really much changed at all. These invisible concepts are inex inexplicable and irresistible. And these concepts are chosen both eras, now and a thousand years ago. And these invisible concepts, in this case, lost love, is the concept that actually touches the heart of the audience. And this is proven because both the Waka and I Need You became a, such a popular hit. And this is why your love letter, my last for the millennium, the complex overloading emotions that the audience has experienced before and the deliverer has experienced before, that connection is the key to the hit. So I've explained how your love letter might survive the millennium, but I wanna, instead of actually answering the instant question, I would like to give you guys a simple clue. Uh, have you ever read the book or watched the movie of The Little Prince? 
It was written from a French novelist. And in The Little Prince, there's a philosophical fox that appears, which is right there, if you can't see it. And in the novel, this fox say, says that the essential is invisible to the eye. Thank you.